What is going on guys, welcome back. In this video today, we're going to learn a very simple way to do optical character recognition or OCR in Python. So let us get right into it. All right, so we're going to learn how to do OCR or optical character recognition in a simple way in Python today. And for this, we're going to use an external Python package called easy OCR. So we're going to open up the terminal and we're going to type pip or pip three, depending on your installation, install easy OCR. And this package allows us to do optical character recognition in a very, very simple way. I'm using it actually in a project right now uh, because I have this use case where I have a bunch of images and I need to detect the images that contain text. If text is contained in the image, I cannot use it or I don't wanna use it. And I do this with easy OCR, but you can also extract the text from the images, not just check if it's there. So we're going to import easy OCR here and I have prepared for images two bad examples for obvious reasons. The text is quite messy here, not clear. Um, yeah, because it's yeah skewed and stuff like that. Um, and then we have two good examples. Here's just some text from Shakespeare and here we have uh, three yeah, icons or images here off sale and save up to 30, 50 and 70%. Those are two images where this is going to work quite well. Now keep in mind, this is not perfect. You're probably going to get better results using something like ChatGPT or some modern uh, models. This is a very simple way to get the gist of it. So you're not going to get perfect text. You're not going to uh, get great results here, but you're going to get a very simple way to do that. And especially if you just want to check if there is text or how much text is there, this is a uh, quite a good solution. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say first of all that the reader is going to be an easy OCR reader and this reader is going to take as an argument here language, uh, a list of languages and I'm going to just pass English here now and then we can read an image. So I can say result is equal to reader dot read text and then I can specify an image path and the image path in my case, let's start with a good example here is going to be images and then uh, good one dot, I think it's JPEG, right? Yeah, JPEG. So this is then the result. Now I can easily print that result and you're going to see what this looks like uh, because what easy OCR does is it gives us the text and it gives us the coordinates of the text that it found. So it can find multiple things here. Um, and there you go. So you can see individual sentence sections are found at specific points here. Maybe this is going to be easier to see with good2.png because there we have less text to be confused by. Um, and then you're going to see here in the output that we get a bunch of uh, coordinates and then we get the individual words, sale, sale, sale. And then we get uh, save up to 50%, save up to 70% and save up to 30%. There you go. So we can do it like that, or we can iterate over the results to get only the text. So I can say four, uh, and then I have to use a triple, basically the boundary box, the text, and uh, a third keyword, which I actually don't know what it's for. I think something like probability, not sure. Uh, in result, what I can do is I can always just print the text. So print all the text sections that you found without giving me the coordinate information. Very easy. There you go. So I can get the raw text like this. And you know, this works, as I said, also for uh, the other image, but it's not going to work too well for the two bad examples. Uh, it's going to find something, it's just not perfect because the text is skewed and rotated slightly and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, you can see for the most part, it makes sense, but also not always. You can see there are quite a bit of mistakes here, um, but we can go and try to do that here now with bad1.jpg. Let me just turn down my volume. Um, and then you can see it gets positive, even though, yeah, I mean, it's it's not really positive. It's like PO and then S and T and VE doesn't find the eyes really, uh, maybe because of the ones down there. Uh, but yeah, I can see it somehow works and then I can go to bat to JPEG. And when I run this, we're going to see to our hone and then the welcome is not really parsed yet because it doesn't look too easy here. So that's how you can extract the text somehow. What I did now in a project and this, again, I don't claim that this is the perfect way to do it, but I wanted to see if a certain piece of text was present. 
Um, and what I basically did for that is I uh, wrote a function called is text present and you got to be a little bit, um, I don't know if messy is the right word, you, you got to be flexible with that because you basically have to say, oftentimes it's going to find something and you need to make sure that uh, something that it finds somewhere in the image is not necessarily text and that you have a certain threshold for how much text you need for, uh, for, for the reader to consider it present. So we're going to pass an image path here. And basically, I do the same thing. I have this function, I basically pass the image path. And then uh, what I do is I basically say if the length of the result is greater than and then uh, or actually we could do that, I think it makes more sense to maybe do that with a text or actually let's do it like that. I can just say if the length of the result is larger than something, then it found a couple of segments. So I'm considering it a text. The easy way is to do just above zero. This is a safe one. Otherwise, you can also just extract the text by iterating again and saying, okay, I need to have at least uh, 20 characters for it to be considered text or five characters or something like that. But in this case, we can just say return true. Or actually, to make it easier, just return the truth value of this comparison. Um, and yeah, basically, then you have this function that when you call it will give you the information if a text is present in an image bad one JPEG, for example. And in this case, it should give me true for all of them. But if I have an image that doesn't contain any text, it should hopefully give me false and it did that in the project that I'm working on right now. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you learned something. If so, let me know by hitting a like button and leaving a comment in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to not miss a single future video for free. Other than that, thank you much for watching. See you in the next video and bye.